Welcome back to Physics Junction. In today's video, we are going to learn how to measure angle of the prism using spectrometer. Spectrometer is a special type of scientific instrument which is used to probe property of light as a function of its wavelength, frequency or energy. Important parts of the spectrometer are collimeter, Vernier table, prism table and the telescope. The prism or the grating will be placed on the prism table or the grating table. The light source will be placed in front of the collimeter. The collimeter has a slit. It will look like this. So this is the slit of the collimeter and this is the light source. So the light from the light source is passed through the slit of the collimeter. So it will convert the light into a parallel beam. Then it is allowed to pass through the prism. So the refracted light from the prism will be collected by the telescope. This is the crosshair of the telescope. So the image of the slit will be made to coincide at the center of the cross wire. This is zoomed view of a vernier table. It has two scale. One is main scale and another one vernier scale. The main scale is marked with 0 to 360 degree and the vernier scale is marked with 0 to 30 divisions, 10, 20 and 30 division. We have to note down main scale and vernier scale reading. So let's start with the main scale reading. To get the main scale reading, just to see this vernier scale 0 that is the zero of vernier scale where it coincides or which line of the main scale coincides with the zero of vernier so that gives the main scale reading for example in this case it is 170 this is 170.5 171 171.5 172 so it crossed 172 so the main scale reading is 172 and the coincidence is here it exactly one of the vernier line exactly coincides down here so this is the vernier scale coincidence so this line is 20 so main scale reading is 172 degree and the vernier scale reading is 20 so we have to combine these two to get the total reading so the total reading is 172 degree 20 minutes here I have few more examples so you can have better idea how to take reading from a spectrometer. So in this first one we have 155, 156 and this is 156.5. So our main scale reading is 156.5. Then let's note down the vernier scale coincidence. So if you see here this um, line exactly coincides here. So that line is 17. So my vernier scale reading is 17. Again combine this main scale reading and vernier scale reading to get the total reading. So in this case 0.5 degree we have. So this 0.5 degree is equal to 30 minutes. So our total reading is 156 degree 47 minutes. So 30 minutes plus 17 minutes. So together it is 47 minutes. As well in the second example the main scale reading is we have 160 so it must be 159 so it is 158 so zero of vernier coincides with 158 of the main scale reading so main scale reading is 158 degree then note down the vernier scale coincidence so here the fifth line of the vernier coincides with the main scale line so vernier scale coincidence is 5 so the total reading is 158 degree 5 minutes so in this case we use equilateral prism in an equilateral prism each angle is 60 degree so the angle of prism is going to be 60 degree this is the schematic diagram to find out the angle of the prism so we have the collimeter and prism so the prism has two polished surfaces phase 1 and phase 2 so the joining of two polished surfaces so that should face the collimeter this is the rough surface of the prism so that the light from the collimeter can be allowed to fall on the phase 1 and phase 2 respectively the telescope is rotated to collect the reflected rays from phase 1 and phase 2 and difference of this two will give the angle of the prism this is the link for the virtual lab uh, that is for angle of prism using spectrometer we just click this link and go to the website this is the page of simulator that is the angle of prism using spectrometer to get a full screen just to click on it so the first step focusing telescope so we have a pattern here this is a leaf pattern we have to get a clear leaf pattern so i am adjusting it and i got a clear pattern then click start so the first step we have to switch on the light 
switch on the light then we have to get a proper slit so this is our collimeter prism table and telescope and this is a verdier table so first step get a sharp slit to get a sharp slit let me adjust the slit width so i just move the bubble here so this is the slit width i'm going to adjust the slit focus then see here now we have a sharp slit here next step place the prism so the prism is placed on the prism table then i'm going to set 0 to 180 degree in the vernier table so for this i'm going to adjust this vernier table so here we have two scale one is vernier 1 and another one is vernier 2 i'm just adjusting the vernier table This is fine adjustment. Now you can see in vernier 1 0 and in vernier 2 180 so this is 0 to 180 so now our vernier table is set to 0 to 180 and I see the prism position so we have two polished surfaces in the prism this is phase 1 and this is phase 2 so the light from the collimeter is allowed to fall on the uh, phase 1 and phase 2 so the incident light on the phase 1 will be reflected so that reflected ray should be caught by the telescope so let me adjust the telescope now to get the reflected ray from the phase 1 and here we have the rough surface and these two are the polished surface so let me rotate the telescope now to get the um, reflected ray from the phase one i am slowly moving the telescope i think uh, we have the slit here but the slit should be at the center of the cross wire I have to make the slit to coincide with the cross wire so I am still moving the telescope so now the slit is on the cross wire so this is the reflected ray we have to note down the reading from vernier 1 and vernier 2 let's note down the reading from vernier 1 first so we have 300 here this is 295 294 this is 293 and this is 293.5 the zero is here just cross the 293.5 so let me take my main scale reading as 293.5 then we have to note down the vernier scale reading so for this one we have 30 lines so one of the lines exactly coincide with the um, main scale line so if we see here this line exactly coincides uh, with the one of the main scale line so that line is this is 10 12 14 16 18 so 18 so our vernier scale reading is 18 so main scale reading is 293.5 degree and the vernier scale reading is 18 minutes so then we have to note down the reading from vernier 2 so we have vernier 2 here so let me note down the main scale reading so this is 0 we have 120 here this is 115 114 113 and this point is 113.5 so my main scale reading is 113.5 degree then let me note down the coincidence so see here this line exactly coincides so that line is um, this is 2 4 six seven so my one year scale coincidence is seven and uh, my main scale reading is 113.5 degree the next part is catching the reflected ray from the second phase so this is the second surface so we have to rotate the telescope to catch a uh, reflected ray from the second phase so i'm rotating the telescope now opposite side now you can see the reflected ray from the second surface so again let's note down the reading from vernier 1 and vernier 2 let's start with vernier 1 so we have 60 here this is 55 and this is 54 53 
and this point is 53.5 so zero of vernier is coincides with 53.5 so my main scale reading is 53.5 degree then let me note down the coincidence that is a vernier scale reading so for vernier scale reading the coincidence if you see here this point so here we have the exact coincidence so my vernier scale coincidence is 28 so my main scale reading is 53.5 degree and the vernier coincidence is 28 minutes now let's go to vernier 2 again note down the main scale reading so this is 240 235 234 this is 2 33 and this is 233.5 so my main scale reading is 233.5 and then coincidence so if i see here the coincidence is here so this is my coincidence so this line is 10 12 14 16 so my vernier scale coincidence is 16 so here my main scale reading is 233.5 degree and the vernier coincidence is 16 Now we have completed our experimental part then enter all the readings in the table and find out the angle of the prism let me enter all the readings here the first two one the reflected ray reading from phase 1 main scale reading vernier scale reading the total reading is 293 degree 48 minutes as well for vernier 2 main scale reading is 113.5 degree and vernier scale reading is 7 minute the total reading is 113 degree 37 minutes next we enter the reflected ray reading from phase 2 so the main scale reading then vernier scale reading and the total reading but if the angle is less than 90 degree we have to add 360 degree so i make this as 413.5 degree by adding 360 degree the vernier scale reading is 28 the total reading is 413 degree 58 minutes so i have to find the difference of this x and y so this is our x and this is our y so we have to find the difference of this x and y so before that we enter the vernier 2 reading and the total reading here is 230 degree 46 minutes and then find the difference here the difference is 120 degree 10 minutes as well from vernier 2 the difference is 120 degree 9 minutes so we have two a that is from vernier a and vernier b that is 120 degree 10 minutes and 120 degree 9 minutes so find the average of this two so that will give you 120 degree 9 minutes 30 seconds so this is our two a let me divide this one again to get the angle of the prism a So the angle of the prism is 60 degree 4 minutes 45 seconds. Let me round it to 60 degree 5 minutes. Therefore, the angle of the prism we measured is 60 degree 5 minutes. I hope this video is more helpful to you. Thanks for watching.